Well, 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 looks like we get to have a first look at the RX-9C and this is of course the Narrative Gundam with the Psycho Frame exposed. And as we all know, the Narrative Gundam was originally supposed to be a mobile suit for testing the Psycho Frame. So we've always liked the Narrative Gundam look, you know, it has the exposed fuselage and also the internal frame of the mobile suit. But this is the first time you should get to see that, you know, hey, the Psycho Frame is going to be revealed in both uh, black and also red so it's kind of interesting to see whether Bandai is going to release two separate versions of the RX-9 stroke C so we'll have to see what is the direction whether there's going to be two separate um, you know mobile suit that's going to be sold or is that going to be two different premium Bandai exclusive yeah and of course with the mobile suit Gundam narrative premiering today in cinemas in Japan, there's also a lot of great movie merchandise and goodies that's being sold. And of course, there will always be special movie OVA tie-ins, uh, plus a kit such as this one. This is the Phoenix 3 in clear color. Um, I would say that this clear color in orange is not new. I think we've seen this before in some of the older unicorn suits as well. So it looks quite good, but I've always liked the um, box art. The box art for the movie tie-ins are usually very very nice and this is no exception, yeah. Of course, we also get a Synergy Stein clear colour as well. The clear colour looks a bit, um, a bit too milky, I would say. I was expecting full transparent clear, but I guess we have to see the actual product to know whether this kit is going to look great in person or not. You know, we always love the Synergy Stein and of course, this has a special box art print as well for the Synergy Stein, you know. Hopefully we'll get this in Malaysia when the movie premieres in Malaysia as well. Now, there's an incredible amount of products and goodies that's being sold as a movie tie-in during the premiere in Japan. And I have to say that there are some things that really uh, pick our interest such as the, the mugs, they also have some very cool uh, leather files, and also this very cool looking Gundam narrative t-shirt, but it only comes in one size, so it's free size. And there are also some things such as the calendars, keychains, and also a lot of other things. But the one thing that really caught our attention was, um, surprise, surprise, they are actually selling the Phoenix 3 boxers at 3,500 yen. Not cheap, but I'm not, I'm not sure whether who's actually going to buy the Phoenix 3 boxers because it does look like it's meant for adults and not for kids. So quite an interesting um, product. I, I was actually expecting a lot more things like t-shirts or hoodies and sweaters, but hey, there you go. We actually have a um, Boxers Phoenix 3. Would you buy it if it's made available for you in your country when they start screening the Native Gundam? Do let us know. And finally, we actually get more official pictures of the upcoming Master Grid Dynamics that's releasing next year, March 2019. And it does seem to confirm there's actually a lot more gimmicks that was uh, no, not shown to us. For example, the opening thrusters at the back of the Master Grid Dynamics. And also, there's a hatch for it to hold its rifle and also the armor. So, it looks quite interesting and there's a lot of uh, very cool gimmicks, opening thrusters as well. And you know, while the Dynamics again has not a lot of markings, but I'm sure a lot of fans such as myself will be getting this next year. Well, the Master Grade Gundam H2 is definitely out. We're not a big surprise. We knew that this was coming out given, uh, you know, they already have the mold from the previous H2 anyway. So not much of a cost for Bandai to actually create this. But if you look at the comparison between the Master Grade and the High Grade, which we built uh, early this year, we do have to say that at least the clear parts that they're using in the Master Grid is blue instead of green as what you get in the High Grid. So that's quite an interesting uh, choice for them to change the colors of the clear parts for the Master Grid. And obviously the Master Grid looks almost the same and identical to the High Grid but I think in terms of proportions, it definitely looks a hell lot better. So that's our news for today. Uh, let us know what you think of the new Gundam narrative. RX-9 stroke C, you know, with the cycle frame exposed. Do you dig this new look of the Gundam where, you know, everything's exposed, where we have used to see our Gundam in full armor, everything is closed up. Well, it's a very different look indeed. So let us know what you think in the video down below. And of course, 
with all the new merchandise that's coming out for the movie tie-in if you do get a chance to buy them i would highly recommend getting not the boxer shorts but you know the gundam universal century memorial uh booklet and also the calendar and the t-shirt those are probably must have yeah so the movie is probably coming to malaysia in 2019 early january if i'm not mistaken and we will definitely be watching that and sharing a review with you guys so let us know your comment about the news today down below and as always thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you can